Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kali Linux tutorial and today I'm going to review this tool which is called LBD and it stands for Load Balancer Detector. Now if you're new to this channel, I'm going through all the tools that are installed in Kali Linux and I'm going to review them and what are the purpose of each of these tools. Now if you interested in these tutorials and these videos, I highly suggest that you should subscribe and enable notifications for future videos. Again, we're going to be looking at LBD. Now, many of you are going to be asking why is this important within a penetration testing or ethical hacking? Well, I'm going to tell you here in just a bit, but before I do, I need to explain just one thing, and which is load balancer and what is the purpose? What are the security advantages of it? Now, first of all, which comes to mind is when you see a load balancer, that means that there are several servers sitting behind it. And the reason why is to offset traffic, which in most cases, these load balancers are going to be installed or in place in an infrastructure where web applications have high volume of traffic. And again, one of the security advantages that comes to mind, you guys, it is protection against denial of service or sin flood. Now, another thing that comes to mind as well is SSL offloading, because when it comes to SSL, there's more things that are processing here and it creates latency, so really important. Now, another thing that you need to keep in mind that using a load balancer may include a firewall or IPS in place. So, like I said, why is it important for ethical hacking is because we need to identify what type of results we can get, what protection mechanisms are in place within this domain, and possibly explore future options when it comes to exploiting these type of services. So let's go back as to why it's important to know this in a penetration testing. So as you already know, and like I mentioned, a load balancer sits in front of multiple servers. So when you do a a request to a certain domain, you might get a certain server, which in this case we're going, to, we're going to call it server A. And your second request is probably going to go to server B or C or D. So the results are going to vary and you might come across inconsistent results, which then you have to plan for in your penetration testing process. So that being said, let's get started. Go ahead and power up your Kali Linux. And what you're going to do is you're going to open up the menu, which is on your top left corner. And once you have it open, you're going to scroll or going to select the information gathering menu. And over to your right, you're going to see the IDS for slash IPS identification. Now, can one of you tell me what is IDS and IPS? And if you know, please comment down below. But once you have this up, what you're going to do is click on the LBD tool. And once you click on it, you're going to have the terminal open up and you're going to have the following information, which is executing this tool, how you should use it and so on. So it's really simple, really straightforward. And as it states here within this tool, it checks if a given domain uses load balancing. So once you have your target, the one that you're going to launch this tool against, the command is pretty simple. And the one domain I'm going to be using in this video is going to be bing.com. Now, this is how my command looks, you guys. It's lbd space bing.com followed by the port number, which in this case is 80. Now in your case, it could be 443 or other port but in most cases it's going to be HTTP where a load balancing is going to be in place. So just keep that in mind. Now, once you're finished with this command, all you need to do here is hit enter. So I already hit enter and the tool already finished gathering all the information that I wanted from Bing.com. Now let's explore some of this data. The first thing that you're going to see if it's checking for DNS load balancing, which is found and it gives you the domain or the host name followed by the IP address, which is attached to, right? So the second type of information is for HTTP load balancing. And in this case, it's not found. That is totally fine. 
but ultimately Bing.com is using a load balancing here so that is pretty typical and it's it's a no-brainer for them to use a load balancer behind the bing.com domain right so in this case just a specific information that you need to keep in mind that you might come across is the type of web server and in this case bing.com obviously running internet information services version 10.0 now that's another piece of information that you could use in your penetration testing. Just something that you guys should keep in mind. Now this is it for this tool you guys. I hope you like this video. I hope you continue to visit my channel for more Kali Linux videos and tutorials. And like I said, I'm going to review all of them. I'm going to try to go through all of them, explain how important they are in a penetration testing process and what is the purpose. and Tons of more information that I'm going to tell you and the value of each of these. So thanks again, you guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to smack that like button. Let's get 100 likes on this video. And comment down below if you have any suggestions or any comments, issues. And again, you guys, thanks for watching. Don't change it because I'm going to be right with you. Thanks.